everyone it's Elaine and welcome back to my channel I have a little I guess we'll call it an upcycle hack <laughs> you all know how I kind of come up with ideas using stuff that I have or I'll find something and say hmm what could I do with that well this is unfortunately I've already glued two pieces together so let me say that um, but I found these at the Goodwill yesterday. There were five of them in a bag. You know how they do the grab bag. And they were $3.99. And I looked at them and I walked away. And then I thought about it. I had been having this idea where I needed kind of a round thing with a handle. And I wanted some weight to it and so I went back and looked at them again and I went and asked my friend I said what do you think that is and it says made in Czech Republic and then it's like Robina and it's got a trademark symbol and it's got 8-9 official I didn't know what it was so she did the Google lens thing and looked it up it's a hockey puck <laughs> It's a hockey puck. So I thought, okay, well, I don't know here in middle to south Georgia that we have a whole lot of use for hockey pucks. Um, but it has been really cold lately, so now would probably be the time. Anyhow, getting sidetracked, I thought that might just do what I want to do. Well, I'm going to grab my phone here. Let me see if I can get it to light back up again. And I'm going to try to do this. I don't know that this is going to show right. Now, no, I'm not a Timu fan. I have to say, I've ordered from them once and then I heard all the stuff. Won't do it again. But see that little thing right there? It's a stamping pressure tool. And then, well, let me see. There's another one. And this one is made um, by Pink Fresh Studio. And what they do is if you have like a platform or an acrylic block and you have your stamp you know and you want to stamp you take this now and or that and you rub it on the platform and it kind of makes sure that your stamp kind of gets the equal pressure to it so I had been wanting to make one for myself saw the hockey pucks and I had and I got a little glue on my fingers because that one's not quite dry um, I had some of this foamy stuff. I think this came in um, a zipper pouch that my for my tablet. And I keep this kind of stuff. Don't ask me why, but I do. <laughs> anyway, so I did have two pieces of this. And I have, I, and this is another thing that probably people will disagree with me. But I love these thick dies from Sizzix. And I think Spellbinders has some. I love them. Because you can cut, and I don't know if you can see, this is the this is a three and a half inch circle. Um, this one happens to be by um, Stampin' Up, um, made by Sizzix though. And you can cut stuff with this. Let me see the glue. You can cut, like I cut this foamy stuff. I've cut um, leather. I've cut fabric. Just all kinds of stuff. And of course, paper and chipboard and cardboard. So I like these stamps and um especially kind of for basic shapes i'm not going to go get a giraffe or anything but yeah i like these thick um stamps so anyhow so this is the first phase of my um trying to make the tool myself now i have to say this isn't really too bad because this is smooth and it might glide on that plastic but then i was thinking well it looks like a little glue has seeped through there um, and then I thought to myself, well, maybe not. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to put it to the side. So then what I decided to do is cut some felt. I have a bunch of felt that, again, don't quite know where I got it from, inherited it, picked it up at a D-stash or something. Because um, I had made a bunch of needle keeps one time and I used felt on the inside. Um, so anyway, so I glued then three pieces of felt together. And this is them glued together, and it's pretty good. It feels pretty good. And my glue hasn't really seeped through. 
In this case, I used the Aileen's Tacky Glue. Um, fabric Tack or 3-in-1 and maybe even our glitter glue would probably work. I don't, um, didn't really want it to seep through and I think I did pretty good there. So then my final one is then I glued it to, and you can see a little bit of my glue still poking out, and it's hopefully will dry clear, and if not, that's fine. This is homemade. So anyhow, here's my tool. How about me? And it is smooth, it's soft, and, um, you know, if anything happens to it, it's okay. I have, well, less than a dollar in this puck, and that's really it. A little bit of glue, and everything else has been free, and I like it. It does have a little bit of weight to it, so I'm not going to tell you that I'm going to carry it all the time with me. But if I know I'm going to do some stamping, this is going to go in my to-go bag. And speaking of my to-go bag, I want to tell you, um, my junk journal retreat for March, of course, sold out. And, um, you know, I, if you want to be on my wait list, let me know, because sometimes things do happen and folks, you know, sometimes can't make it at the last minute but anyhow my one for August I have now made the group and of course it's a private group I do um, a different group with each retreat and um, yeah so it is August it's in northern east northeast Alabama and um, if you want more details send me a private message on Facebook that's the best place um, if you make a post or something, Lord, I just can get right on by it. And I apologize, but that happens. But if I get a private message, I'll be sure to see it. All righty. So really don't post here on Facebook. I mean, um, on YouTube or anything. Facebook private message is the best. And um, I can give you more details. It is um, August the 6th through August the 10th. So if that schedule works for you, please reach out. Um, this time we're going to have 30 people. I'm excited about that, but also a little scared because <laughs> normally I've maxed out at, um, around 20 ish and, uh, yeah. So yeah, 30. Anyhow, um, I do try to put up a video every so often. I'm not, I'm not able to do it every Tuesday evening like I used to, but Tuesday is at 6 p.m. and you can also find me on Facebook. I have a group, a page, and then of course like I said my own private Facebook. I'm on Instagram. I have gotten off of Twitter. I don't know something weird about it but I'm gone and then um, Pinterest I'm there and I do have a small Etsy shop and it's called Larkin Lane Creations. So please by all means um, you know think outside the box and think of what you can do to kind of solve a problem that you had by upcycling some things. We all have plenty of stuff. Yep, we do. <laughs> Anyhow, reach out to me. I'd love to hear from you. And uh, that's it. I'll catch you going down the road. Bye.